Autobots transform. What's up, everybody? Welcome to George Reviews. I am the 80s Transformer fan, and I am still, in some way, shape, or form, reviewing some Soundwave related material. This is, these are the cassette packs Target exclusive for. Bumblebee Soundwave, which is the Bumblebee movie, which is actually a slightly repainted version of Titans Return Soundwave. And I never bought the cassettes because they was like 30 bucks. And um, when I was doing the G1 Soundwave toy hunt, I came across this bad boy on clearance for $20.89. And I was like, finally, because I just didn't want to buy it. But I just couldn't have a Soundwave without his minions, right? So for months and months and months, I put off buying this thing. Then it finally went on clearance, and I was like, now's my chance to get it. And at $20.89, $20.98, I was um, happy to have it. So I kept striking out on buying the G1 Soundwave. I could never find it nowhere. And I was looking for the Tetra Jets. That's what had me in Target, the, um, the Siege uh, Rainmaker 3-pack. And I finally got those guys. So, going from Walmart and Target and Walmart Target for a couple weeks, I came across this. The exact same thing at another um, Target for $5 even cheaper, $14.98. So, now I got to take this one back. So, um, tomorrow when I get off work, I'll be taking this thing back. I'm taking it to work with me in the morning and take it back, get my 20 bucks back because 15 is better than 20 so now I have it at an even cheaper price now I have it from completely half off so sometimes waiting pays off and the stuff doesn't disappear it goes on clearance and if you've seen some of my toy hauls you know I will wait for clearance so I'm gonna get this guy open but wait let's take a look at the packaging again this is uh, all dressed up these are repaint from Titans Returns uh, cassettes and it's all dressed up in this Bumblebee movie packaging with the throwback 80s because the Bumblebee movie took place um, in the past a couple, few different decades I believe I still haven't watched that movie all the way through it says Transformers Bumblebee Bumblebee up here with the uh, cassette Bumblebee down here cassette pack uh, only a Target Hasbro and I guess this is supposed to be like a radio and this is uh, stop pause play rewind and all that little decibels here Autobot symbol here so what is this um, blaster what's going on with that it's, yeah, because it's got, I guess it's Bumblebee, I don't know. I guess it's Bumblebee's tape deck. Uh, I, speakers over here, back of the box, show you these guys. They're actually like triple changers. At least this one is. He's the cassette, tank. Oh, no, wait, that's the other guy. Well, yeah. Yeah, triple changer. I got it right. Robot, cassette tank, uh, bird. I don't know what this mess is. <laughs> it's, they stretch the hell out of that and tape. And we got an a airplane and some type of wolf and a cassette and there's this little awful awful bumblebee and before i get open there they actually um trademarked this car i guess this is camaro uh from gm so that's probably another reason why this stuff was overpriced and i just realized this isn't ravage this is hauled back and i actually had this diaclone cassette i can't find it but i actually have i had a reissue of it I don't know where it's at. And, um, Buzz saw in frenzy. I did not realize this wasn't Ravage. I knew he was blue, but I didn't realize. So I flipped the box over. Anyway, get this thing open. Slide it out of the packaging. He has an instruction booklet in here. We'll take a look at it, but we will not use instructions because I don't use instructions. I shouldn't have to with these little bitty things anyway. But this is what it looks like in case you are wondering. Bam, bam, bam. That's out of here. And here is Bumblebee and the three cassettes. Okay, I had to go grab the scissors. Pop this guy out of here. And this one is stuck on the waist. Here is Bumblebee out of the packaging and the uh, three cassettes boxes or whatever. Damn, this one got two ties on the hell. Another cassette box. I always thought these things were weird. It's another reason why I didn't get Soundwave on the Titans Return go around. And there's 
one of these guys has a weapon accessory and there it is so I got these guys out of the packaging first up um, let's take a look at Bumblebee so here is Bumblebee and um, I did not buy it for a Bumblebee that's another reason I didn't want to buy it screw that thing I think we are going to start with Buzzsaw this is Buzzsaw and again I guess the sticker makes this thing a cassette and this is it in cassette mode flipping it over the reverse side and before I even try to transform this guy I'm going to get Soundwave out here and before I even try to transform this guy I'm going to get Soundwave out here Times Return slash Bumblebee Movie Soundwave open this tech, tape deck take out this false tape thing and instead of going in this way these things go in the long way and instead of going in this way these things go in the long way so pop that in there and close it up and close it up and close it up and 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 <laughs> right, let me try to turn it around wow okay now tell me I'm doing something wrong alright let's get this out of here let's put this false cassette back in here no problem no problem with that thing now let's try it again All right, damn it. He's mocking me. Okay, I'm gonna get this guy out of here. Get a uh, hold back out here. Same result. I can't close the deck. Right, I'm trying to take my time. Oh, there we go. I just gotta push it all the way hard. And then might as well try this guy too while I'm at it. Um, frenzy. Yeah, he went in just fine. Let me back all the way up the bus saw the one that's supposed to go in here easier than everyone else. I gotta push it a little bit hard, but it is in there. And there it is. Back to this guy. See if I can get him transformed. Pull this out to the side. That was super obvious. And I'm gonna rotate this head out and around. Like that. Bring these feet down. And this back portion flips up here. Uh, I don't know if it rotates around like this. I don't know. Box art kind of looks like this a little bit. What do you think? I don't do instructions. You know that. But yeah. These little parts come around here. Man. That, oh, it's, it's cool until you come to this thing right here. These little things right here. Does anything else fold out? Let's see. Those tank treads are tank mode. So here he is. The head is um weird the way it's um I don't know it doesn't it's not stylized like other um incarnations of Buzz on Transformer Lore. Of course there's a bird head and a beak, but I don't know, it looked like something from Transor Z or something. I don't know. He has a little feet underneath, which I guess is cool. That's cool. But yeah, not a whole lot going on. I'm so happy immediately i'm happy i didn't drop 30 bucks on this thing the neck has a few points of articulation you can bring it all the way down here you can bring it up all the way out here and you can extend it straight out so at the neck joint here and at the shoulder joint here has those points of articulation and the feet they just uh, fold up and down that's it that is it and the wings you can put them up and down up and down i wonder if they extend any further than this this little thing comes out of here maybe this is for this mode I'm thinking I'm not sure yeah check the box is checking the box the same thing as instructions yeah I see the little wings out right there it's the same thing checking instructions I don't know am I breaking my own rule of no instructions so that is buzzsaw and man um yeah so okay I'm gonna go for the uh I don't know I, I tank artillery mode I don't know even know what the thing is. it looks terrible on the box already fold this stuff up um hmm. put the head back you see these around like this flip the little treads out I think they just these close up 
or a new. Okay, it goes like this. And flip this tread out. And do they slot up? Nope, I think they just hang down. And I think, I think this is it. I don't even know what this is. Um, I might need to. At least it, it, it rolls. I think this is it. And maybe it connects to more stuff. I don't know, but man. Um, it's got little wheels on it. Say that for it. They roll. I don't, I don't need, man. I need some type of cartoon explanation. I need to see this function on the episode. Buzzsaw, roll around, do nothing but roll. Oh, wait. I don't did some type of weird R2-D2 at first. I don't know. And I guess he got a hell of a Decepticon symbol going for him. I don't know. But this is it. Let me... Oh. <laughs> Reference the box like look at that. That's it. Like it's got like a different paint job on the box, but I do believe this is it. And this is just ugh. I don't even know what that is. Let's see if we can get him to chill out over here on Soundway. Yes, no, not really. Close enough, dang it. Next up is Frenzy. This is cassette mode. He has a tank mode. Let's see if I can convert it to a tank first. There are the treads. Treads over here. I'm assuming I got to get this stuff up on top. Yep, yeah, here we go this up here and put that down a little tab right here I guess it goes in there and on this side as well and I don't know if they just stretched it for a third mode it seemed like they could have did better if they just kept two modes and this little gun turret thing goes in here somewhere wait a minute Yep, should have known it goes in the middle. It actually clips the two halves together. And this is the tank mode with no... Oh, it does have a couple little wheels. Let's see how well this thing rolls. I'm not thinking it's going to roll well at all. No, nope. it's dragging. So that's pretty crappy. I mean, it, it looks all right just looking at it. But um, the tank mode is crappy. So we're going to continue to triple change. Let me get this guy into a robot. As a kid, I would do that noise all the time. So, Rumbo. This is the inner, outer, front leg. I don't know. Let me try like that for right now. Fold these up. Here are his hands. Wait, this is the front. <laughs> nah, making it hard on myself. Yeah, I do not practice these transformations. This is straight out of the box. I, I try to challenge myself with being a transformer expert, even though I may not be. And ugh, this looks bad. This looks very bad. And looking for his head. His chest must pop open. Oops, sorry, did I had that in the camera at all? I don't even know if I had that in the camera. I might have to shoot that again. And his head comes out of his chest, and sorta of, kind of looks. G1 maybe and he has a gun yeah boy ooh I would have been angry if I paid 30 bucks for these guys oh I mean they're they not horrible but yeah I mean he looks better than he feels in my hand then the legs here and does he have feet oh yeah ooh. phew All right, he has some type of feet actually this little piece Parts fold up the little tank treads. Nobody calls Soundwave uncrasmatic. Yeah, let's keep tailgate. So that is that guy, and now, um, hold back. 
I'm assuming his jet mode is going to be just like Laserbeak's bird mode, except for instead of a bird, it's going to be uh, instead of a bird head, it's going to be a cockpit. So that's that. Okay, maybe my assumptions were too soon. <laughs> Yeah, I have no clue what to do here. I see the separation points. It's not getting separation. Okay, where these get come up? Oh, they come out. Ha! Now we're rolling. These come out. This little butt part flips around just like. So I think it does. Just like a buzz saw. doing it correctly is that right all right and I think this is it I think this is totally it because this is some type of landing gear right here I don't know if he has any in the back I can tell when I set it down. When I set it down, he says, I don't know. It's not too flush. Hold on, Frenzy. Stop trying to fall over on me. And I get I think I've done it. I'm peeking at the box. These are kind of back a little bit. I think I did that right. And this is the jet mode. Well the box kind of got this pointed back just a little bit. Let's tilt it back just a little bit and oops, not getting it all in. And this is the jet mode. Oof. Oof. Let's double check. <laughs> Let's double check this mess. And apparently that is it. So yeah, on to the dog mode. Rotate these things up. Let me see him back. Alright, obviously fix, flip that out. Bring out the dog head. Bring these legs around if I can get them to go around. Back the other way maybe. Bring these down. Again, I'm winging this. I don't know. Bring these down. I got these legs. I just got to get these to rotate. They on a the ball joint. There they go. Ball joint, ball joint. And now he has the the box got these panels kicked back more than this. Okay, I had to put a little bit more pressure on him. All right, and these panels come back this far, and here is the Ravage repaint that is now hauled back, Target exclusive. And he has the dual links tail, I guess. If I get him to stand up. Here this guy. Let's get laser beak down here. Buzzsaw. So, I knew at some point I was going to call that guy laser beak. Because he was always ejecting laser beak. It's not my fault. I blame the G1 cartoon. And there he is. And let's bring him back. Take a look at his head. And see if his mouth opens. And no. It's sculpted open. But it doesn't have a hinge. But that's kind of cool that it's sculpted open like that. The head looks good. It's not that terrible. Just the double tail is bugging me. I guess they had to have some place for it to go. Wait, it looks like a single tail in there. Oh, that's the head of the jet. I thought that flipped out. Oh. Or maybe you can use it as a tail. I don't know. <laughs> uh, jet tail. Yeah, Um. I, I guess it's not that bad. For 15 bucks, you get three of them. Because I got it on clearance, man, I feel sorry for anybody who paid full price for this thing. And it, it was a lot of viewers when I reviewed Soundwave telling me to make sure I get the cassettes because the cassettes are cool and they were um 
Target exclusives, but man, $30 for this, and I did not want Bumblebee at all. My son just got a bonus toy, my little dude. All right, so I can't remember if I did Rumble's articulation. I'm going to start with his head, his head 360s on a little hinge in there. It's not a ball joint, and he has some neck movement on this little piece underneath his head. He can look up that far. He can look down that far. Now that not I remember, I don't think I did articulate articulation. He can rotate his arm at the shoulder fully 360. He can get it up to the side because of the transformation like that. He has a bicep swivel. Wow, he got a lot going on. He has an elbow bend, which is cool, and there's nothing in it. This whole part is just molded in. Uh, coming to his waist, there's nothing at the waist. Looks like they could have if they wanted to. Well, maybe not this hinge for transformation might have hindered it. But uh, coming to his legs, he can do the splits. Wow, front to back, kicking around. He has these ball joints in there, which makes him very cool. Get his front knee up this far, which is very cool. So you can really pose this guy. And he has some foot articulation right there. Just enough. So um, clearly the best one out of the set is uh, Frenzy. Did I call him? All right. So it's comparison time and time to do the thing that we always do and get a little bit of retro versus new style side by side. Taking a look at both buzz saws. And how they compare side by side. And I guess these things are the chrome weapons without being the chrome weapons. Sitting back there in this mode. And this is not a triple changer like this guy, of course. He is Howlback and Ravage. And it's bugging the heck out of me. I can't find my Howlback, which is just is a Ravage repaint. And I get and this guy is a Ravage repaint too. I don't have the Ravage one, but how these guys compare side by side. A lot of hollowing parts over here. The head is very good, very, very good. And last but not least, it's Frenzy with Frenzy. You can see how they kept a lot of the themes from the G1 carried over. The overall shape of the head, the design of the chest. This one missing the Decepticon logo. Then the, where the treads and the gold is a little bit different, but I guess maybe this could be treads and gold. I don't know. All right, to wrap it up, I was less than impressed by the set. I think Frenzy is the strongest figure by far in all three modes. He looks the best. Well, the tape modes are identical. I was really let down by Buzzsaw. But um, I guess, you know, what can you do with this uh, type of cassette design with the rectangular thing? I don't know. But anyway, I was happy to get it for 15 bucks, And I even got uh, this guy and it's going to my son. <laughs> you know, I kicked him to the curb, Bumblebee. Uh, the second figure, uh, Hollowback, is the second strongest figure out of the three. And obviously, Bus always last. Um, at least my sound wave has tapes. So I wish I could say, I mean, for, for if you don't have it and it's on clearance at your local Walmart, um, it, it's, it's cool to pick up for 15 bucks, depending on what you find. I actually bought it at 20 and then I was happy with that before I opened it, at least. And then I wound up getting it for 15 Still got to take the other one back, get my money back. So um, what do you guys think? And thank you for watching my review. I am the 80s Transformer fan. You just watched a review where every toy has a story. All right, all right, all right. I know at least one person wants to see this toy. Uh, reviewed and everything so here we go this is the bumblebee from the bumblebee movie that transformed into a camaro i think it's like a two-step transformation i'm not sure what is actually built as but i'm gonna take a look at his face he has blue eyes some more than detail in the in the face mask the mouth and the head the little bee antenna in there his arms are one solid piece on a shoulder joint the 360s Molded in detail here. He actually has one arm. It's just a, a cannon. Coming up to the other arm. Molded in detail. Molded in fists. Uh, the only articulation is at the shoulder. He even has the Optimus Prime axe thing blade at the end here. His chest is um, supposed. I guess this is supposed to be the false front of the car. Which is clearly not. A little silver Autobot symbol thrown to the side. Some silver paint in the waist. The legs are one solid piece, a hair bit of molding detail, 
the back of the car windows no feet to speak of totally hollow on the side that chest is just hanging as far as I know it does not lock in man this is the toy of a two-year-old my four-year-old and I don't think he gonna go for this I'll let y'all know <laughs> what happens when I give it to him he likes G1s and masterpiece toys again hollowed out in there the tires behind the guy little serial number right there same thing over here bottom of the figure some little metallic thing and now to get him on oh, the head I don't know if I said it, but the head does not move at all so only movement you get out of this thing is this and this he can like split itself in half but anyway just we're gonna put his arms to his side bring these legs all the way around and uh, I guess the hood the top of the car just auto morph like it did and here he is in this Camaro mode with the window down, which is, that's not bad. You know, you see like the little part in there, but it's kind of cool. The window's down. You know, I don't think this window lets down, but it's molded in there. And here he is. Super sport. Black tires. Back of the car. I don't know what's going on with this little pin thing. I don't know. It's bugging the heck out of me. No painted tail lights. And underneath the car. And that's it. Get him down. It rolls pretty good. And... I guess I got the cassettes and my son to get Bumblebee. And like the paint is coming off on the corners. Whatever. And I mean, this is brand new out of the box. Good thing I didn't buy it for this. So you get you get four figures in the set. And I got them for $15. So I guess, I guess that's not bad. I guess I'm crying too much. And you got the giant black Autobot logo. They couldn't be bothered to um, whip up some red paint and hit it. Um... It already had the silver on the inside, but they couldn't even be bothered to hit it with red paint for a red Autobot logo. The car mold, I guess the Camaro itself, it, it doesn't look bad. The little mold, so it's not too bad. So yeah, I just went through this in here at the end in case somebody wanted to see it.